or anyone wanting to start a uh, little hobby type business, uh, I'm showing you equipment or I will be showing you equipment made by a company or made available by a company called SCM that um, was and still is a, in the uh, Germantown, Menominee Falls, Wisconsin area. Back in the mid 90s or actually early 90s when I attended a couple of woodworking shows, I was looking at buying some uh, very high end equipment with the idea, especially after I passed through Gatlinburg, Tennessee in 1985, that I would try my hand at wood carving, glass etching, metal engraving, that kind of stuff. Well, fast forward, that was 1992. Uh, I left Wisconsin in 1996. Uh, life gets in the way. And then you fast forward to now, which is 2024, in particular February 2024. And, uh, you will find that I never uh, use the equipment, maybe about once or twice, uh, one compressor and the 400 uh, engraving uh, uh, tool or device. And so I'm going to be going through this rather quickly. Don't mind the mess in my garage. I've just got a tiny garage, uh, woodworking area and so on. You'll see various other things like a shopsmith right there at the back end of a shopsmith Mark 7 that I'm looking to sell. That's a different story. But anyway, uh, and over there is a Studebaker. Well, that's a different story too. But anyway, this is about the SCM engraving equipment for either sand etching, glass etching, metal etching, wood carving, which is engraving, uh, which you could do on uh, wood, uh, plastic, or anything else uh, through eggshells like ostrich eggs or turtle eggs or whatever you wanted to do. So back in the day, when I bought this, of course, VHS tapes were available. You might say, well, I don't have a VHS recorder anymore. Well, that's why uh, several, well, quite a few years back, I ended up buying the DVDs that went with this for instructional training. But if you have a VHS player, those are still fully op operational. I only used, I think I looked at them once uh, years ago. But the equipment is, for, is designed for doing custom etching. Glass, if you will, jet stream. That's that's the uh, sandblasting, if you will, or media that they use is aluminum oxide. So, uh, the shopsmith mini. But anyway, I've got two very nice uh, carrying cases for your artwork, your vellum that you're that you would use for producing or reproducing the artwork too, and then transferring it to glass or a metal or wood that you're and then you follow uh, the design you just carve it out boom you got your finished product so i've got two cases uh for uh the equipment uh, or for the tapes and for the books and so on but you will then see a sandblasting cabinet you now this is plastic it was a jet stream sandblasting or sand etching sorry aluminum oxide etching cabinet and this is the media never been used uh, it's um five pounds each of um uh, four, four containers five pounds each of 180 grit and i've got two of 150 grit there's a funnel for transferring it and also there's another there's another container right there in the middle with a blue it's got a fine screen on the top i'm sure that might be for screening or screening through the aluminum oxide before you transfer it into your cabinet the gloves that originally came with this deteriorated, so I bought replacement gloves. Those are new, never been installed. The hose clamps for mounting are inside the cabinet. This has got a light inside, and it also has a support rod, if you see that right here, so you can lift the cabinet up to put your work in there and then drop it back down again. Sort of like on a car or whatever. There's a rod. It's actually a U-shaped rod that pivots forward, and you rest the inside on it, and then you can support the thing up to look at your work. Uh, two air compressors. Only one has been used. They both work. Uh, they could uh, one, you know, could they could use small mufflers that if if you don't if you're partial to the noise and all that, but they're not very loud. Um, so these are very clean. Hardly any use. Um, Sandborn was a good uh, compressor at the time. So this one with, or goes with it. A little carrying case for stuff. The cabinet that I made, that was for something else that I made for a long time. But that cabinet could go with this. So that you have a nice place to set it and uh, put your media and put your compressor there if you're not using them inside there or whatever. Um, there is 
this was not uh, produced by SEM, but um, I came across this along the way, an air eraser kit that's also air operated off the comp same compressor. Media has never been used. Uh, the, uh, um, what would you call it? The uh, a mask, an air mask is missing out of this, but that was okay because you, you could use any kind of a mask. There's another uh, full pencil in this particular case. It's never been used that I can tell. Uh, bits that come with the machine or one machine, so there's two of these. They are basically nothing more than your dentist drill bits. This is an older book, but it gives you an idea what's out there. There's two. This is a. This has never been used, but I believe this is used in conjunction with the uh, air compressor when and when you're etching and so on. There's a foot-operated control for engraving and all that. So that that comes with this. There. This is the 400 pen, a high, extremely high-speed engraving tool. Uh, this is the earlier version of that, so both of these are, are together. you got two filters. Um, this is the copy machine that you use your uh, vellum or media on to uh, that sticky back uh, after you put your, produce your vector artwork on a uh, in your regular printer. You put, you put the media into it, you copy whatever uh, image that you want to it, and then you transfer it to this device. I believe it creates a negative image. And then you transfer that to whatever that you could be engraving or carving on. There's some cleanup tools and so on. So all this equipment is still available through SCM in Menominee Falls, Germantown, whatever, just the west of Milwaukee. If you look for SCM um, on the Internet, uh, they are out there. I don't re remember exactly what the... Uh, um, the full name is for the site, but it's SEM, SEM engraving, and you'll be able to, to get to it. Um, again, this is older information. It's all available on the DVDs. They have, I believe there's instructional videos online. Uh, so if you don't use these, but you use the DVDs, or if you step-by-step, step, you just do your own work, you've got enough here to create a fledgling business. I believe today... And don't quote me on this, but I believe the uh, the price of the equipment today is uh, somewhere around twenty one hundred, twenty two hundred dollars to do one operation. Let's say etching. The other one for engraving is something completely different. Another, I believe, another two thousand dollars. I'm looking to get uh, uh, twenty five hundred for everything that you see um, here. Information. The equipment, enough to start your own little fledgling business. I'm getting older. I've got too many other hobbies that I haven't finished. And so I'm making this available uh, to someone that is looking for SEM equipment in particular.